up um, early in the mornings. I'm not a, for those people that know me know that I'm not an early bird, but yeah. I think I'm starting to get used to it. I wake up after my first alarm, as I, I have two alarms. <laughs> <laughs> I put two of them every morning. Make sure that I don't oversleep. But we're really glad to be here. We're Mario and Miriam Sandoval. We're pastors of Maranatha Church yeah. in, in Waco, Belmead, actually in the Belmead area, uh, which is the area where we where we grew up, where we went to school. Hello to we, all the pirates out there. Where we Love met, where we met and uh, where we started our our life together and started forming our family. And so the Lord has uh, re returned us back to Bell Me yeah. to pastor, and we're happy. We, we did not leave Wake until our daughters graduated from La Vega High School. We did not <laughs> leave Bell Me. Wake, I mean Bell Mead until <laughs> we're still in the Waco area, but. We moved here out of Wake, out of Belmead for yes. like ten years ago, eleven years ago, something like yes. that. Yes, but we bless Belmead and Waco, and so we're glad that you're joining us this morning. We know that uh, a lot of you are uh, up and about, getting ready for work, or maybe on your way to work or at work already, or you know, some of you <laughs> have the privilege of being early birds and you're up already up. having your cup you're of just coffee. Up because you can't sleep no more. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, but we're glad. We're glad for you. This time is for you, uh, and for all of those that join us later and. And this morning, we want to continue our topic of anxiety. We felt um, the Lord put in our hearts to talk about that and and not not really thinking. I mean, I had already read it before in the past, long time ago, but not really thinking. In the moment that the decision the, was made, yes, right? Yes, that um, April is, is known, it was established years ago to be the um, um, Stress Awareness Month. And in the beginning of May is... Um, anxiety and mental health awareness and so we were like wow well that's that's the lord you know it's a topic that he wants us to talk about and it's very important and and i believe that throughout the year there are different times that there can be more stress and anxiety which like i believe that december can be you know one of them maybe for our household not you know a long time ago april would be one because we have a lot of birthdays in april you know my family us our anniversary you know but um, no doubt that right now... Tax season. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no doubt that right now with everything that we're going through, all the changes and the sicknesses and deaths and, and you know, the loss of jobs and the closings and, you know, it's, it's, it's stressful. It's brought on a lot of stress um, and a lot of anxiety and worry to a lot of people. I have to confess that in given moments, you know, I have felt like my heart needs just like... Just, you know, get start racing a little bit and, you know, and I've, I've had to, you know, I've had to run to the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, to help me because, you know, it all, it, it begins right here. Your mind starts thinking, you know, thinking and a lot of negative things, you know, and, um, and we just, you know, have to be careful. So we, we wanted to take this time yeah. to talk about this and, you know, help you if you're going through something like that. If you've had moments where you have felt your heart just race or your mind just you know, think nonstop and then and it's not good things. Yeah. Help you how you can, you know, with God's help, channel that and just overcome it. Just walk in victory together. Amen. 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 We uh we were we were talking on on Monday we started off talking about anxiety and its causes. Mm -hmm. Where does it come from? And we talked about basically that it begins with worry. Mm -hmm. And then worry uh, spills over into anxiety. Worry is in your mind, but anxiety is is created in your mm -hmm. heart, to where you can't sleep, yes. you can't you can't uh, function. You you're, you fear, and it opens so many doors to so many things. And then yesterday we talked about anxiety and its effects, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how it can become very destructive, you know. And so today we want to talk about dealing with anxiety. You know, Amen. dealing with anxiety. And so how do you deal with anxiety? What is the antidote to to anxiety in our lives, you know? And so we're going to talk about today. And the first way of dealing with anxiety, well, let's read our verse first. Okay. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 mm -hmm. and 7 is just a perfect passage of scripture mm -hmm. for this subject. And it's pretty much the fundamental passage of scripture that we're using all throughout the week. It's all right there, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7 says, in the uh, New King James Version, it says, uh, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Um, in the New Living Translation, uh, it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, 
pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Wow. What a comforting uh, scripture. Right just, there just reading everything. that scripture right now. We talked about earlier in the week of, you know, memorizing the scripture and declaring the scripture in our lives. And, and this one right here is just a perfect one to just mm -hmm. declare every morning and even to speak to yourself, you know, medium. Don't worry about anything. Just mm -hmm. pray about everything, you yeah. know? And, yeah. and, you and, know, and God, just talking to I'm God telling about you everything I need. Yeah. I need this, I need that, I need this, you know? Yeah. And Lord, I thank you for everything that you've already done. And let me say this, because some people think that you can ask God too much. That's not true. You can't ask God too mm -hmm. much. As a matter of fact, the more you ask God, the more excited God gets. <laughs> Did you know that? It's true. It's true. Uh, so you can't... <laughs> out ask God you don't you don't wear God's patience out you don't like God's like oh here she comes again oh here he comes again no you ask God all you want as much as you want and the more you ask the more excited God gets amen now you know that's not that's it's not, true you know but it's not easy for for some people and I'll be honest with you you know that's not been an easy thing for me. I, I because and I think it has to do with the way I grew up and the way I was brought up. You know, I was I was brought up. I mean, we were a family of five kids, and so we were taught that you know we had to share. We were taught that it was you know like when we were my parents would buy fruit, you know, and um and it was like one fruit per day because it you know it had yeah, to it had to kids. be enough for the whole week. And so you know if we wanted to eat a fruit, you know if if I got a banana, then that was it for the day. I couldn't go back later and get grapes or go back later and get an orange. I mean, I had to wait till the next day. I remember when we first got married, I love fruit, and I always love having fruit at the house. And I remember when we first got married, and I put the bowl of fruit. And, you know, in my mind, I'm already thinking, oh, today, you know, every day, what fruit I'm going to enjoy, you know. And I remember, <laughs> you know, putting the bowl of fruit, you know, right there in the kitchen. And, you know, and I come the next day, and there's no fruit. It's all gone. And I'm like, where's the fruit? You know, I'm thinking like, okay, I'm going to enjoy my orange today, you know. I had a banana yesterday. Today it's an orange and there's no fruit. Guess what? Somebody had eaten it all. It's I was a grown boy. <laughs> because you 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 were raised different and so yeah. you know i was raised like you want something you have to work for it and that's why even when i started hearing the message of grace you know it has been hard you know to just receive by grace because i was raised like you want something you have to work for it so to earn it yeah so my it. my mentality has always been like god i'll work for it god i will go to work you know i want this i will work and and it's, you know, it's, it's taken me a while to learn that, you know, with God, it's, I don't have to earn it. I don't have to work for it. He's already provided it. It's just receiving it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The, 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 the one that I used to work or the one that, both you, used of them. To, or the one that you used to eat all the fruit? <laughs> both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Uh, it's a good, it's a good analogy. It really is. So, you know, we got to deal with anxiety and the way you deal with anxiety first is you don't ignore it. You mm -hmm. deal with it. Amen. Anxiety, even at its most lowest level of pressure, even when stress is at a low level, uh, you don't endure it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't endure anxiety, even at its uh, even at its minimum stage. You mm -hmm. do not entertain it in any way. You do not deal. You don't. You don't. You don't uh, endure it in any way. You're supposed to get rid of it. ASAP. Amen. Amen. But how many times are we yes. just thinking about it yes. and thinking about it? We, po you know, we postpone things. We evade things. Yeah. We, sometimes we think that if we don't deal with it or we don't think about it, that's going to go away on its own. And that's not the case. If we don't deal with things in our lives, if we don't you it, know, it, it, confront it, that the, every, situation. The whole time that you're ignoring it, it's growing. Mm -hmm. It's growing. And I've said it's easier to yank out a plant. From the ground that it needs to yank out a tree. Yes. And that's exactly what happens. Something that starts so small as a little plant, as a little weed, you know, it grows and becomes a big tree in our lives. And, yeah. then, it, and then it's much harder to yank out. It's much mm -hmm. harder to, you know, confront and deal with when, if we just did it from the very beginning. And so you can't ignore it. You, you know, even if it's the smallest thing, you don't feel like it's beating you down, it's weighing you down. But anxiety 
is not good. Worry is not yes. good. We talked about that. That yes. worry actually it begins with worrying. Yes. And Extreme. worry, yeah, yes. worrying opens the door. If you dwell on it, if you continue to dwell mm -hmm. on what's worrying, thoughts that are that are that are oppressive, mm -hmm. that are oppressive thoughts that are that are afflicting. If you dwell on those, they're gonna grow. You know, and one of the things that's very important in a Christian is to meditate on God's word. Mm -hmm. And people have said, I don't know how to meditate. And yeah, and that's not true. Everybody knows how to meditate. We meditate yeah. on the problem. Yeah, you tell me. Yeah, you been meditating on the problem all day long. Well, just just refocus <laughs> that and meditate on God's word. God, yes, your word amen. says this. God, your amen. word says this. And picture God and make images of God according to the word that mm -hmm. you're meditating on. You know, visualize the word that you're yes. meditating on, the promises of God. Visualize them. Yes. And you'll be amazed how the Holy Spirit will bring such revelation into your life. Yes. Meditating so on God's true. word is so, 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 so powerful, so so effective it really Amen. is it is god's, really. god's word truly is powerful and it you know it does miracles it does wonders in our lives when we declare it when we learn it when we read it you know when we eat it um when we meditate on it and when we declare it in our lives because uh what happens is that worry will open the door to anxiety mm -hmm. We already talked about the effects of anxiety, how mm -hmm. and, and, and anxiety can open the door to so many other destructive things. Yes, yes. We even talked about how one of the worst cases was suicide. Yes. You know, yes. suicide comes from anxiety. Yes. It's, it's yes. where it's at. Yes. It begins. And so You know, you mentioned that yesterday and I, I wanna say it was yesterday or the or the night before that I was um you know, looking at some, uh, reading some news and read of a of a doctor, uh, of a ER doctor in New York that had tended to many, many patients, COVID patients, you know, nonetheless, I mean, you know, many died and many were healed and came out of it. But just a couple of days ago, she herself committed suicide. Oh my God, I didn't know about mm -hmm. that one. And, um, you know, I know we were talking about anxiety and it just, it, re it really hurt that in the midst of everything that she was, she was a doctor, a physician. She was just overwhelmed many, many, with the situation. That's what the, her family was saying. It was just the, what she had gone through. And, you know, it just led me to, you know, think about all the people that have been, you know, here in our city and beyond that have been there in the front line treating patients. And many of them seen maybe people die right then and there of just the trauma and the stress. Can you imagine the stress yeah. and the anxiety that is causing those people that we should live, continue to lift all those people up and pray for them. So when you're sitting there thinking about what you got to do today, you nurses and doctors, and, and you have this, <sighs> that's already something you got to deal with. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to, and the way you deal with anxiety is you deal with it in prayer. Mm -hmm. It's in prayer. Amen. We talked about Amen. prayer. Yes. It says, the scripture says, mm -hmm. be anxious for nothing. But in everything, yes. by prayer. Yes. And your your version Mine says, says, don't worry about anything. Instead, so instead <laughs> of, instead of worrying, pray. Yeah. About everything. And so we need to take every concern, yes. every affliction, yes. every unresolved issue, every potential problem, every. Uh, uh, and the word says everything. So there's nothing too silly, nothing too insignificant, nothing too small, nothing too big, nothing that God will say, oh, come on, for real, you know, yeah. nothing that God's going to shut out and say, no, I don't want to hear that. Or, you know, you're on your own on that one. No, God says about everything. Pray about mm -hmm. everything, everything. Take You can go to God with anything and everything. Amen. And so it just depends on where you are in your life, but... Mm -hmm. Do not entertain, endure, mm -hmm. ignore any type of anxiety, even at its lowest level, and don't even endure it for a moment. Mm -hmm. One of the effects of anxiety is that it consumes you. It does, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a force. It's an yes. energy force, you could say, yes. but it doesn't produce. Yes. It, 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 it consumes. Yes. It takes away your it sleep. It takes away from you. Yes. It takes away from you. It, 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 it takes away your 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 appetite, it can take away your appetite to eat, it can take away your desire to fellowship, your desire to work. It can just it just it's just a force of energy that just eats at you. A destructive, destructive, destructive that's because it, it could go either way. I mean it could cause you to not want to eat or it can cause you to over I'll tell you what, when I'm really, really stressed, I mean I tend to gain weight because 
I want to eat. I just, I, you know, I want to. That's comfort for me. Eat and eat all the junk food never, that's not good. You I'll know? never forget that time. Long, long, long time ago, that conference, that first conference. <laughs> I was stressed. Yeah, you were stressed. And it was the <laughs> night before, like midnight. And I was like, you know, I needed. I felt like I, I was so stressed. I needed to comfort myself, so I wanted ice cream. I wanted a banana split. You know, Dairy Queen was closed. And you know what it you was did? Midnight. You know what you did? I went to H E B and bought a junk, bunch of junk food. You with the sister? Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Sister Magda, you, we went to H-E-B because that was the only thing that was open and bought a bunch of junk food and ate it all. And the next day I felt sick in my stomach, you know. Yeah, you don't know how to do that, but I do remember that one time you did that. But, you know, it can go either way. It causes extremes, you know, one way or the other. And so we, which need, are not to, good. we need to pray. Okay, it says pray. And then it says... Um, it says, with supplication. Mm -hmm. It says, everything by prayer and supplication. What's supplication? Make sure you get it all out. This is just like me flipping this, this cup and pouring it out. And then when it's all poured out, <laughs> make sure you get it all out. So prayer and supplication. Make sure you pray and pray all the way through. Make sure you, you get every, not just thought out, every emotion out that you need to get out. Get it all out unto God. Yes. That's what supplication means to me, you know, like make sure you get it all out. You know, you ever, you ever done that work? Yes. You know, you're trying to get it all out. You yes, know? the ketchup bottle, <laughs> yeah. the mayonnaise bottle, yeah. or, you know, and the Coke, you know. Because <laughs> it says asking or begging for something. That's what supplication means. And so, uh, so we don't have to beg God, but just make sure that when you pray, you get it all out. You talk about it all. You 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 make sure you leave nothing in your tank, nothing in your mind, and nothing in your emotions. It says get it all out. And then it says with thanksgiving. We're talking about prayer. With thanksgiving. What does that mean? You pray to receive. Amen. You pray not just to give, mm -hmm. but to receive. Mm -hmm. And that's what faith does. Faith receives. Faith doesn't move God for you. Jesus' grace has already moved the hand of God yes. for you. Yes. Faith receives yes. what God has already done for yes. you. So, so faith, I think, you know, it makes sense. Faith is just like extending your arm out, you yeah. know, and just taking yeah. what God has already provided for you. Amen. And then it says, uh, uh, it says, uh, the scripture says, uh, let your request be known to God. Because if you ain't talking to God about it, you're talking to yourself about it, mm -hmm. and that ain't that ain't going to do nothing mm -hmm. for you. Or you're going to talk to just people about it, yes. and that's not going to do nothing. Yes. It's until you talk to God about yes. it yes. that you can receive yes. the peace of God. Amen. And we'll talk about that later, but Amen. you receive the peace of God. Amen. And so the peace of God is, a, is God responding mm -hmm. to you giving it all to him. Mm -hmm. It's an automatic response. So for you to receive the peace of God, you got to give to God mm -hmm. all the concerns and worries yes. and all that yes. stuff. Give it to, and make room in your heart to receive God's peace. And, you know, something quickly here before we, um, you know, let everyone go. But something that's important, too, is we, we all need a support group. I, I believe I think one of the things that has really blessed me in my life as I've gotten older is, is to have a support group. And, you know, our pastors uh, our, our, our mentors, you know, mm -hmm. spiritual mentors, mentors, um, brothers and sisters, you know, like to me, they're like older brothers and sisters. God blessed us with pastors, you know, that to me, they're like, you know, they're, they're not just my friends, but I see them as, you know, my older brothers and sisters that, that we can, that we can run to. And we've had many times where we've, oh, we've yeah. had to travel yeah. out of the country to another city to go look for those people, to go talk to those people for whatever we're going through, you know, for whatever situation to sometimes just go and talk and, and, and receive from God through them. Uh, sometimes, you know, we, we need that. And, and uh, the Bible says, you know, it's not good for us to be alone. And so, you know, whether it's your spouse, your parents, a leader, your pastors, but it, it's important. There's a lot of people that are trying to do things on their own. And, and the enemy takes advantage of us when we're, up, when we're by ourselves, you know, to start just putting all kinds of lies in our minds. So I really encourage you, you know, get connected to a church if you don't go to a church already. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of great churches here to in Waco to faith, fit you know, everyone. To yes, you know. And and um and when you go to a church or if you're in a church, get plugged in. Don't just go, you know, get I know right now you can't go, you know. <laughs> but you know, you can connect, you know, uh through through live, you know, but 
but when when you're able to connect with the support group, that's mm. that's really going to make a difference in your life. Yeah, yeah. Involve spiritual leaders. Mm -hmm. That's got nothing to do with age. It got to do with spiritual development and involve a qualified prayer partners. Yes. People who know how to not just sit there. Oh, really? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, no. People are going to take it in prayer and help mm -hmm. you in prayer and yes, believe exactly. God with you. Amen. Well, that concludes our time. We're, we're done. But say this prayer with us and. By faith with us, say, Father in heaven. Father in heaven. I thank you. I thank you. So right now by faith. So right now by faith. I give to you all my concerns. I give to you all my concerns. And I receive from you. And I receive from you. Your peace. Your peace. Your everlasting peace. Your everlasting peace. And I declare. And I declare. Because of Jesus' blood. That Jesus' blood. No anxiety in my life. No anxiety in my I'm life. I'm giving it completely to you. I've given it completely in Jesus to name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Well, that was good today. Amen. Amen. So let's walk in peace and not in anxiety. Amen. Well, join us tomorrow morning as we continue in anxiety. We pray that you have a blessed and happy Wednesday and God protect you every day. Amen. God bless you.